Second and 10, a very chilly day here, but no snow. And I got to say, if it's going to be this cold, I want snow. You should see Charles' face. He's looking at me like I'm crazy. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a Carolina first down on a gain of 16. That's a pretty play there coming out of the backfield. But as that back, you've got to be conscious of making sure you're securing the football. When you get out in open field, sometimes you get a little loose with it as you're trying to get up ahead of steam. Make sure you keep it close to your body because those defenders are trying to punch it free. He does a nice job there protecting the ball and picking up a first down. Got a man and he hits him in stride. It'll be a gain of just a yard and it'll be second down. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. Second and nine now. And a quick throw here, that's complete. So five yards here, five on the play. And now it's third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. They'll look to throw again. And, it's a, and now the ball's out. Fumble near midfield. And the Jets have recovered. The start of this game has me doing flashbacks and remembering when I was playing and seeing a similar start and seeing the head coach actually take a timeout and gather the whole team around him and tell everybody to get it together. Let's get some focus going here because maybe he, he just sensed that maybe this the whole team wasn't ready to play. Yeah, well, they've gone interception, now fumble. And he'll be brought down at the 50 after a gain of about five. Well, this defense for the Panthers, they were very good last week in the win over New Orleans. And I don't know what the actual percentages are. I don't know the analytics when you create five turnovers or takeaways in a game. But coaches always say, when you create a number that high, your chances of winning, probably up over 98%. I haven't seen that number quantified, but I believe them. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. The Jets at 5-9 and nine on the year. And they come into this one knowing it's been a while since they've had a W. They have dropped four in a row. Let me tell you, when you go a month partner in this league without a victory, it gets tough to come to work every day. And in addition, you start to wonder about your job security as well. They'll bring the tight end in motion right here. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. A great play there. Touchdown number 22 on the season. And the Jets take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. Extra point by Bunker is on target. And that makes the score 7-0. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. You know, in our research packet this week, prepping for the game, so many articles from the local beat writer about the offensive struggles of this team and what will they do this offseason? What do you think they'll do? Well, number one, they'll turn to their self-scouting report. And every team that's any good does this. They have outside groups, check out their team, scout them, and tell you who can play, who can't play, and reasons why. Some of it may just be health. They have to get some guys healthy and back out on the field. But overall, evaluate this squad and make the changes that you need to. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. And he'll 
take this one across the 45 up to about the 46 yard line. Give him three on the keeper there and it is second down. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. Here we go. Second, second and seven. And he'll decide to keep this once more. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Nice pickup, 10 yards and a first down on the keeper. But I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, and that could have been trouble. Points one, two, and three in their defensive game plan was to get to the quarterback and knock the ball free. They did it there. Luckily, offense hangs on to it. Yeah, that's got to serve as a wake-up call, though, because they can't afford to let the ball go over to the defense and miss opportunities. And I'm not saying it happened here, but you know what a good rule of thumb is when a play like that occurs? You know who usually recovers it? The guy who missed his block and let his quarterback get hit. And some room to maneuver. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets, 26. 28 yards the game there on the catch and run. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. So in Jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 26-yard line. Oh, they're going to run a little pop pass here. Down right around the 25. That's a nice job there defensively being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on it before he could get much out of it. He'll look to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Touchdown, Panthers! Man, he just ran a terrific route. Extremely hard to defend when it's run that precisely and the ball's delivered that accurately. Gonzalez able to tack on the PAT. And we are tied at seven. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. The offense running out, and they are charged up, ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And normally I'd warn against getting complacent just because they scored the last time out. But I don't think there's any worries with this group right now. This is a hunger group, and they want to keep building off of their last drive. Now they just want the officials to hurry up and place the ball so they can snap it and get back to work. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he's got Rome. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. A big play there. That's his 18th rushing touchdown of the year. And the Jets have moved out in front. So they elect to decline it. And why not? Just go ahead and let the play stand, and they'll take that. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. And they'll send the tight end in motion here. 
The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Second down and right back to McCaffrey. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. The Jets will bring in a nickel set as they try to stop this third down. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And he's going to get the first down as he covers up after a pretty good shot there. Give him seven yards on the play as they do pick up the third down conversion. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. Not ready. but only for about three yards, second down coming up. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver, but he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front, so if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him, picks up three on that carry. Three yards on that last carry, here's second and seven. A give running left, it's McCaffrey. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 44 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? Ready, set. So the 14 yards actually takes him from 143 to the other for first and 10. Look at my team! Three, three. Hey. Only a yard on the keeper, and it'll be second down. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. And we're at the 41, second and nine. McCaffrey running up the middle. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. Here we go, here we go. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. On third down, he'll drop to throw. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And a pretty nice tackle there, ranging up from his free safety spot as he'll stop him about a yard short. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Let's go now. They'll look to throw. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. And the Panthers turned away on fourth down. And the Jets are going to get the football back. So the defense has to stay out and get one more stop. They were able to do it, forcing the incompletion. So on their record, that goes down as a successful play. It doesn't matter how they got there, how it happened. They got it done. They're the ones that are jubilant. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And that will bring up second down. 
When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. Three yards remain for second down. Now Mahomes. And that one incomplete, but now a penalty flag coming in late. That might be P.I. So the contact came before the ball got there, and the flag is thrown. Timing is everything, isn't it? And it's so hard to cover these great receivers. They have such great body control, and they can fake you out. In this case, as you described, got there before the ball got to the receiver. Penalty flag had to come out. Mahomes now on first down. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case the feet, doing a little toe tap, to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. Only a gain of a yard, but that's all they needed. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, sometimes the defense just beats you. Great coverage from the secondary, all of them in the proper position. So instead of trying to throw into tight coverage, he found a way to throw it away and come back and try again the next down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. Now here's Mahomes. That's going to be caught. Touchdown, Jets. Chase Claypool, 31 yards. And the Jets go up by two touchdowns. Extra point by Bucker is on target, and it's now 21 to seven. Now after the touchdown, here's Bucker on to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. They've got some stuff to build on from that last try because they moved the football CD and then they tried to go for it on fourth down, didn't convert, probably left a bitter taste in their mouths. I would say so, and I think that they go out in this series determined for that not to happen again. In fact, they don't even want to get to a fourth down opportunity. They just want to make sure they get it done within the parameters that they've set for themselves. Run their offense, get it into the end zone. Yeah, I think a little bit of determination and a dash of anger. On second down, McCaffrey. And yeah, they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 56 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. Send the tight end in motion left. 
They run on first down, but it only produces a gain of two. It's second down now. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. like that makes the O coordinator look like a genius, but I don't think he saw that play going that well. No, I don't think so either, but boy, it all worked out perfectly. They caught them in the right defense. Guys dropping off into coverage, their eyes averted somewhere else, and guess what? He filled the void with his legs. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Right now, everything they touch turns to gold. This is their fourth possession. Touchdowns on their first three possessions. I mean, this defense, they can't seem to stop them. It's like they're on skates. Great analogy, Brandon, because they are pushing them back and winning everything at the line of scrimmage. They've just been laying down tracks towards the opposite end zone. So to themselves, all they're saying is, if we don't make a mistake, there's no way they can stop us. Well, they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. Open man completes it to Claypool. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. Too far downfield, something those linemen have to watch out for, and that time it costs him. to throw on second down. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. A big gain there after going backwards, and that'll lead to a third down. A great job there, and that old cliche, taking what the defense gives you, comes right into play. Nothing too out of the ordinary about the throw. Just a little dump off over the middle. But what it is out of the ordinary is what he did with it after the catch. Not only did he grab the ball, but how about the significant yardage he picked up after he pulled it in? Mahomes now to throw. That's Cordero Patterson hauling it in. And they're gonna get this up to midfield. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing, but as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And that'll hurt the average a bit, as this time they're able to get him behind the line. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. They go play action. Now Mahomes. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. So this has been a lot like a tennis match, hasn't it? Back and forth. Both of these offenses have their way so far. So maybe the question isn't who's going to score the most points in this game. Maybe it's who's going to get some stops. Yeah, absolutely. And that sack, finally a first step in the right direction for a stop. Going to need better protection here. Third and long following the sack from Mahomes and company. Now back to throw. And it's intercepted. Picked off by J.C. Horn. 
It's almost like you can see the look of frustration on his face. Four interceptions last week. We talked about it all week. What did he do wrong? And another one here in the first half. And you can understand the frustration. You actually feel his pain a little bit. But the worst thing he can do is what you're seeing right now, showing the other team that he's frustrated. Mm -hmm. All they're going to do is double their efforts to make him even more frustrated. He's got to gather himself, compose himself, and keep fighting. Well, he talked a lot about erasing that loss last week, getting back in the win column. We'll see how he responds. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Touchdown! A great play there with his second TD of the game. His And the Panthers are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. Gonzalez good on the extra point. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kicks away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signal for and taken. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And they've got just under 50 seconds, so time enough to try to work their way downfield if they so choose. Mahomes throw complete there to Moore. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Throwing now is Mahomes. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Well, he certainly didn't like what he saw at all from the coverage on his primary reads. And he didn't even have any luck trying to get back to his safety valve. Give defense a credit. Coverage was in lockdown mode everywhere. On play action, it's Mahomes. The Panther rush too strong. They get there and take him down. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Going to need better protection here. Third and long following the sack for Mahomes and company. They'll drop to throw. And that is incomplete. Like what I see so far out of this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. And this will be taken at the 13. So a good punt there, but a very strong 14-yard return. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. 
And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. This is what defensive coaches ask of their defenders every single ball game. Get a hand on every throw and coverage. They want the deflections. They want the knockaways. Pick it yourself if you can, but at least knock it down and guarantee it's incomplete. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. That'll be marked as a... I believe they buzzed down. They're going to take another look at this play with all reviews coming from the replay official here in the final two minutes of the half. goes the tight end. They'll look to throw now on first down. To the sideline, and that is a heck of a catch as he was able to get both feet in. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. And he is gonna lose yardage here. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. This one from 48 yards away. Gonzalez's kick is good, and that will do it for this first half. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando. That's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach, welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. Both these offenses have been in fine form. What will the second half bring us as we are underway in quarter three? And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Hello. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he'll get across midfield and into Carolina territory. 111 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Not a ton of room available on that one, but he made use of what space was available and gained decent yardage. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. Right side, Claypool's got it. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that in-line point-of-attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target. And that's how he'll shred a defense. Well, someone's been having a good game so far. And you know something? A lot of it's been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. 
And they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And he maneuvers up the middle for three. And it's second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. They go play fake. Mahomes. And that nearly oh, intercepted. Man. It's incomplete. Now remember, he had a pick earlier, but couldn't reel that one in. But he did almost everything right. Excellent coverage, breaks on the football, just unable to haul it in and take it the other way. So he dropped an interception. The key for him now, don't dwell on it. Just move on to the next play. Moore, the man in motion. Throwing is Mahomes on third. Wide open receiver complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 19. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. Oh, how about this on first and goal? And he is going to lose yardage here. It's a loss of five there, bringing up second. It seems like we have seen this a lot in his rookie year, a nice tackle for a loss. And the more games he gets under his belt, the better he's gotten. And sometimes you worry about rookies hitting the wall. Not in this case. This young man runs right through it. They've been in the red zone three times in this game and have not scored a single point. Can they break through here on second and goal? To throw, it's Mahomes. And he's going to go down. He's sacked back at the 24. He'll wind up losing 10 there, a full 10 yards. So that one hurts. And it brings up third and goal. Yellow. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Throw left side, taken in by Claypool. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. Now a man drafted and then let go by the Panthers. Harrison Bunker for the field goal try. From the left hash, this from 37. Butker's kick here is good, and that will tie us at 24 all. So they come away from this opening drive of the third quarter with only three, but it does draw them even. Yeah, that has to be John one, doesn't it? A touchdown definitely would have been nice. We know that. But here, you get back on even terms, and now you've got most of the second half to try and get yourself into a position to win. out there and ready to begin their next drive and their three-point halftime lead gone now back to a tie game but Charles I don't imagine that changes too much for this offense I would agree I don't think it changes much at all whether it's a three-point lead or a tie game they know they have their work cut out for them and they were going to run their offense in the same vein play got just a yard here second and nine from the 26. they're gonna look to throw firing quickly here and that's complete that'll go for a gain of seven and that's gonna bring up third and two Now yeah, come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll go to the air here on third and two. And he will find his man on the outside. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. 
27 yards there on a very nice third down conversion. I tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. On first down, he'll drop to throw. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. A gain of two brings up second and eight at the Jets 39 yard line. Ready! Second down and eight. Three, and the slot man goes in motion left. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. Considering they've seen him have some big gains against him throughout this game, that's got to feel like a measure of revenge as they trap him behind the line of scrimmage for a loss. Backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Happy Ranger, happy Ranger. Half the street, half the street. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. To the sideline, he's got the catch, and he kept the feet in bounds. Well done. Plenty of shouts from this crowd as they watch the replay. They want a challenge, and they're going to get one. Elsewhere in the NFL, they're in the second half at FedEx Field now. now. You saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago. We got a good one going on there. Remember to keep an eye on the ticker, of course, at the bottom of your screen for updates on that game and others around the NFL. Here we go. Now here's a timeout defensively. Defensive timeout called by the Jets. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. Gonzalez's kick is good, and they have regained the lead. So give them three on that drive. You know, normally you'd say, we'll take it, but the way points have been flying around, it feels like a little bit of a letdown. Yeah, you just have to wonder, are field goals going to be enough? Because as you pointed out, the way touchdowns have been scored, does kicking a field goal actually put you at a disadvantage the rest of the way? Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And a methodical drive last time, but they couldn't get that knockout blow. They had to settle for three. But you got to like what they've been doing along the way, right? It's almost like the body blow is the setup punch. As you said, they didn't get the knockout blow here, but that doesn't mean it can't come later in the game on another possession. And the defense on the other side... Maybe a little gas, right? Yeah, a little tired. And if nothing else, they just feel relieved getting off field only giving up three. They don't exactly feel like they've handled the offense. On second and seven, Mahomes... Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. And the Panthers are going to take possession of the football. If you combine last week and this week, he's got a hat trick going because he had two interceptions a week ago. He's seen the ball so well and understanding where receivers are and positioning. I mean, just watching him work with such great technique and okay, paying ready. it off by actually catching the ball when he has a chance, he's helping his team in a huge hey, way. Hey. Right there, right there. A little jet sweep to start the drive. Pass the 20. And he's going to get this all the way down to the two before he's wrestled out. A big play there for Carolina. So that one just a little touch pass, but it paid off quite handsomely. Yeah, and let's face it, the quarterback loves it because it pads his stats as a completed pass for nice yardage downfield. But I like the way they get the receiver in motion. Ready? It's almost like he's running a route before he gets the football because he's got a full head of steam when the ball is popped in his direction. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. 
been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. They'll try to run this one in. And he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Panthers are able to build on to their fourth quarter lead. Gonzalez able to tack on the PAT. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. And they'll let that one go as it skips through the back of the end zone for a touchback. Hello. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. Well, that last touchdown we just saw, what an important one. Now it's back to a two-score deficit for this crew as they take the field. He's got a man complete. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. When they needed a play this year, he's certainly been the guy to deliver it. As this season has gone on, he's been awfully consistent and sometimes spectacular. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. They'll go option to the short side. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Well, that's what he can do you know, when he keeps the football. It's not a huge gain, but it shows how hard it can be to stop him. Yeah, and I thought the defense had that one pretty well contained. And in fact, they probably came up and felt pretty good about what they did. Then they looked up and realized he still got good yardage out of it. He's a tough guy to stop. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out, to the sideline, and touchdown, Jets! A 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Jets have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Clanks it off the right upright, and it's no good. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. 66 yards rushing for him now to this point. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to take it down. Definitely. You want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Another run with McCaffrey on second down. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Two yards, good enough for a first. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy. Let him pick up the first down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They run with McCaffrey off the option. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. Let's go. 
The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And some room to work. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Getting it to him in space pays off big time. That winds up going for 31. And as you saw right there, this is a guy with pretty good speed for a tight end. Nice job there catching the short throw and turning it upfield. He can also be a weapon downfield as well. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Off the option, here's McCaffrey. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying it around campus, right? Maybe the old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Christian McCaffrey. 29 yards and the Panthers are about to make it four straight as they add to this fourth quarter advantage Gonzalez good on the extra point and that pushes the lead up to 11 now after the touchdown here's Gonzalez on to kick it away And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Yellow, yellow. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And yeah, the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Hands it off out of the gun. And just one yard here from the 49 to the 50. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Mahomes going to throw. Over the middle, that's caught by Claypool. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 39. That's good for the Jets. Now Mahomes. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. Touchdown. A great effort there with now two fourth quarter touchdowns. And the Jets are back within a score. So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. But that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game. And by now, we should all realize they're not going away. Now the pressure again swings to their defense because they're going to need to find some way to get the ball back. And this is caught. So they took a chance, but they are back within a single point here in the fourth. I guess the coach looked at the two-point cheat sheet, said go for it, get it to a three-point game, and they did it. Yeah, and sometimes you just throw out time of game. You don't worry about that. There's just a feel sometimes in making that call, and he felt good about what he had for a two-point conversion, and now they're only down three and feeling great about themselves. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. They've been rolling the last couple of drives, each inning in touchdowns. So this game is flipped. They were down. Now they're up with the football. We'll see how they handle it. Can we get a spy on the headset now between the head coach and offensive coordinator? Because they've been in attack mode. Had to get back into the game. Now they have the lead. Do you stay on the attack? Or do you dial it back a little bit to try to protect this lead? Well, my cop-out answer would be somewhere in the middle. I think it's going to be a fine line, is it not? I think you're exactly right. But I do think if they can stay aggressive, and keep them on their heels, they'll be best served that way. On the six. Second and six, just inside the 30. Now 
Now here's a little touch pass as they tap it quickly to their receiver. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. Well, I think the hope is, you know, with a touch pass like that, they, maybe you catch the defense off guard, but they were all over that one. And it is the kind of play that works better against certain defenses, and this clearly was the wrong one to run into. Really nice job getting him down behind the line of scrimmage. And he's got his man on the out route. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. He's been big. Two touchdowns earlier. Now he's got a first down here. Back to throw again. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. They've got a first down in field goal range already. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. They run with McCaffrey off the option. And he takes it into the end zone across the chalk. Now there is a flag down, but I think that's offsides on the defense. Yeah, I think that's going to stand, partner. Gonzalez to add the PAT. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Makes the score Panther is 48. Yes, 38. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. He's got Claypool, and he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. Mahomes will throw. Wide open receiver complete. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. Another big play as they get 28 out of that one. That's what we're used to seeing from him right there. Plays like that, why he's number four in the league in terms of receiving yardage. Able to make adjustments all along the way. Doesn't matter where he lines up, where he releases from. Working his way into the secondary, figures out defenses and finds weak spots in order to get open. Whew, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle, so they're ready if a tackle happens in bounds. Yellow, yellow. Mahomes. And it's intercepted at the goal line. And the Panthers are going to have it here at their own nine-yard line. Well, I mean, field goals probably aren't going to cut it at this point. This was touchdown or bust, and unfortunately for them, it turned out to be bust. Yeah, they're feeling like they've got to force the issue here, maybe take some chances they wouldn't have earlier in the game. But give credit to this defense. They've really stood tall throughout, and they come up with the interception in the end zone. The defense can stop it twice more as they take a knee here. The Jets will bring in a nickel set here as they try to stop this third down. But Charles, a lot of 
happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're gonna cherish. So for the Panthers, it's a good fifth win for them as they play out the string. And they'll have another road date next week with the Los Angeles Rams. Meanwhile, for the Jets, they hit double digits in losses as they fall to 5-10. and 10. And they will get a home date next week as they will take on the Buffalo Bills.